Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and I got a classic Canadian twofer of news today, eh? Uh, first off, they're both about Unity. The first one is kind of minor, but pretty cool because you can get some free stuff. And the second one is actually kind of game-changing, if I'm honest about it. So first, let's do the quick and easy uh, first bit of news. That is that there is a sale going on right now on the Unity Asset Store, and that actually includes a free asset giveaway. So right now, uh, you can get the Polygon Prototype Pack. Generally, it's only five bucks, but right now you can get it for free. Now, we've actually covered Polygon packs quite a bit in the past. They're from Cinti Studios, and the code to get it is CintiSale2020. I will have that linked down below, and I will splash that up on the screen. But if you want this asset pack, go ahead and grab it. It's a collection of things for prototyping your level, straightforward model, geometric shapes, walls, and so on. Really actually quite a useful pack. Now on top of that, and we've had a number of Polygon packs in the past in Humble Bundles, etc. Do be sure to go and check out that if you've got any of these packs before you go ahead with this, but this one is obviously free. Enter the code and it is yours forever. Also, everything here is in FBX format, so you should be able to use it in your game engine of choice, not just in Unity, which is actually kind of cool. And then on top of that, they've got an asset sale going on right now. All of Cinti Studio stuff, or at least I think all of it, uh, is 50% off. So if you've picked some stuff up in a prior Humble Bundle or something like that, but you want to fill out your pack or you've never used it before, um, the Cinti stuff has a really interesting low polygon feel to it. Everything in there is completely game ready. As I said, it also comes in raw format, so you can generally bring the texture and the FBX files out, use them in uh, Blender or in another engine if you so wish. Uh, Cinti polygon packs are actually available on Unreal and Unity, uh, but in this case, everything here is available at 50% off. And as you can see, the price of these packs really vary massively. Uh, but we've had some of these, again, featured in previous Humble Bundles. Do make sure to check if you are a regulars channel and you buy Humble Bundles Go to Humble, check your inventory, make sure that you haven't got them already. But if you want to fill out your collection of Cinti stuff, right now, everything is 50% off. And as I said earlier, the prototyping pack, this guy right here, using the code that was up on screen earlier and linked down below, you can get it for completely free. So that is nice. Okay, so that is the easy stuff. Now let's get into the more game-changing thing. Unity today announced their game growth program. And Unity was recently funded. They were flush with cash because of their IPO. And their first move is a really, really interesting one. In a nutshell, Unity are essentially becoming a publisher, but they're becoming a non-conventional publisher. And this is actually quite interesting. So it's an accelerator program for free-to-play indie games on mobile. Uh, you partner with Unity, select indie developers, get access to awesome tools, dedicated team of operations experts. Unity covers the cost of acquiring new players and optimizing your game, and you share the revenue 50-50. Uh, and you can only get to this by the Unity dashboard. The way it works, how do you qualify? Well, basically, if you have a mobile title published right now on Unity, you qualify. Basically, apply, and hopefully you can get in. And one of the biggest challenges that game developers have in this day and age is basically just being noticed. And that is what game growth is essentially doing here. It is uh, a publishing deal for promotional purposes only. And of course, they're going to make money out of it. But what you've got is a small developer. If you've got a great game, but nobody sees it, you're not going to sell any copies. And that's where they come in. They're not going to take your IP rights or anything like that, like a lot of publishing deals would do. So you can see here, it's an accelerator program for mobile indie developers currently in early access phase. They partner with select indie game developers to help you quickly and effectively scale your game while you remain 100% independent. Now, that is the big difference between a lot of publishing deals and what they're doing here. You become a partner, you get access to industry leading tools and experts in player acquisition and engagement, monetization, and more, all while retaining full ownership of your studio and your IP or your internet, uh, intellectual property. Uh, so open to already published free-to-play indie mobile games. So if you have a game out there that is basically microtransaction based, no upfront cost, uh, you can apply right now. Uh, there's a limited number, so you got to check the FAQs for specific requirements. Uh, if you meet the criteria, we will accept you into the program and we accept you into the program. They will fund user acquisition for your game and provide the technology and Unity experts to help manage player engagement and monetization. Take care of the process that helps grow your game while you concentrate on game development. Uh, game growth is a revenue Revenue sharing program, Unity and the developer team split the revenue from advertising and in-app purchases 50-50 after basically their initial outlay is recouped. 
Uh, so put simply, Unity covers the cost of bringing in new players while we both share in the reward. Uh, so you've got a couple scenarios here. An indie developer has a mobile game that makes $3,000 a month. They apply to the game growth program. Unity spends $100,000 per month to acquire new users to the game, uh, retains those users with dedicated live operations support, grows the game to $130,000 per month in revenue. In this particular scenario, Unity would recoup their $100,000. So right away, the $100,000 per month they put in as promotional user acquisition acquisition costs, that is the first thing out. So after all of the stuff, so and we're talking, you know, after uh, the app store takes its cut and all that other stuff, the first $100,000 of revenue is actually going to Unity to make back the $100,000 they invested. And uh, then it leaves $30,000 in monthly revenue, that is split uh, 50-50. So you're, you're going to get $15,000 there, Unity is going to make $15,000 there. Now what's interesting is, you are originally making $3,000 a month. So that $3,000 is not a factor here. It's not like you get 18 and they get 12. It's a straight out 50-50 split. So if you already have a game that is profitable under your own monetization model, this probably isn't the right fit for you. But if you have a game that shows a lot of potential and you just need to get people in, you need someone to fund that acquisition. This sounds like a steep cost to pay. But truth to the matter is it probably is it? This is probably the cheapest way. To, like, do you have $100,000 a month to spend on user acquisition? The answer is generally no. And even if you do, you're taking a huge, huge risk. In this particular case, and I haven't read the fine print here, but I, I'm 99.9% positive here that you don't owe them any money if your game is a flop. So ultimately, Unity are taking the risk here. But for taking that risk, they're also getting, you know, their money back first, like any traditional publishing deal. That's kind of how concerts work and or how albums when they're printed or CDs, whatever. Uh, the publisher gets their promotional cost back first. Anyways, that's just kind of how these gigs work. And then you're looking at 50-50 revenue split after the fact. Uh, when the partnership ends, you maintain complete ownership of your intellectual property in game. No permanent revenue sharing commitment uh, to Unity going forward. Uh, it's a really interesting project, to be honest. So what they'll do, design and run strategic user acquisition campaigns that bring in new players into your game, also known as advertising. Uh, team analyzes your game economy and works with you to implement optimizations. Grain growth experts work with your development team to manage and optimize ad placements and in-app purchases. So if you're ad-driven, they work with you on the ad sites. Unity actually offers a, one of the best mobile ad platforms out there, to be honest. Um, and they also work on the in-app purchases, how you can best make money off of your game, work with you to implement tools and tactics to increase player engagement. So you're basically getting funding out of here and uh, their expertise and access to their tools that you already basically have access to some of those, like the in-app purchases and the, uh, the advertising network. But they're handling it for you and doing it as best as possible. Um, yeah, so that's about it. If you're interested in joining the program, you can apply using the Unity dashboard. Uh, start by telling us about your project, the development team, then integrate the game growth package via the Unity editor. The package includes a suite of analytic tools designed to help measure the important metrics within your game. Uh, once the package is installed, we'll take a close look at your game to consider if you're a suitable candidate for testing. Among other factors, we consider key metrics that help indicate a game success, specifically D1, D1 being day one, retention, day seven retention, average session duration, average sessions per user, install conversion rates and costs per install. Uh, if your project meets the criteria, we move into the user acquisition testing phase, lets us know if your game is a good fit for the program and we can establish an official partnership. Unity covers all the costs at this point in time. If you become a partner, our team works closely with you um, to optimize key elements of your game and begins the user acquisition campaigns, helps you design new features, integrate critical business services and optimize player engagement and monetization. Uh, yeah, that one's pretty awesome, to be honest. So basically, if you are interested in it, you need to log in, head on over to the game growth section of the Unity dashboard, and you go from there. And that's kind of it. That That is the extent of what we know. I can't link to the Unity dashboard part because obviously you need to log in and go and look yourself. Hopefully you have access to the FAQ there. Uh, it, it is definitely one of the devil in the details type uh, approaches out there. But truth of the matter is there's a lot of small developers that are looking for a publisher. And a lot of times those publisher relationships are pretty predatory and awful where they will take your IP rights. They may not actually do anything. It, it's kind of not a de well-defined relationship. Whereas this, this game growth program, it's pretty straightforward. They're going to fund marketing your game, getting people into your game, and they help you so that those when those people come to your game so that you effectively make money off of them. They should know this stuff better than you do. They have, uh, you know, 
their own in-app services. They've got their own teams on this stuff. They should be the experts in this industry for this. Uh, so if you are making a mobile title using Unity, obviously you need to use Unity because you need to use their Unity analytics tools, etc. But if you are a Unity developer with a mobile free-to-play game with in-app purchases or ads and you're looking to you know, hit the big time and you're willing to give up 50% of revenue, this could be a really good deal. And right now, if your revenue is zero-ish, and you make your revenue go up to, say, $1,000-ish, and you have to give half to them, you are now making, let's see, what's the ratio? 100 million billion times more than you were the first time. So even at a small-scale success, it's still a success. But if you have a game that is really well monetized, doing things all great and everything, this isn't a program for you. But for a lot of people, the biggest challenge as an indie developer, you create an excellent game but it just flounders because it doesn't get the eyeballs. Well, that's what they're offering here. Uh, funding to get you the eyeballs and the expertise to monetize those eyeballs. It's a pretty big deal, to be honest. And I think this is a great first step for new post-IPO Unity to go in. I think this is a good thing for them. They're helping the community in all honesty, and it's one of those ways where they can definitely make more money. I, I'm impressed here with the idea of this program. How? Let's see how it actually works. So let me know what you think of this. Comments down below. And again, don't forget to check out and grab that asset. It's only available for about a week, I think. Um, so the code is down below, and so is the link. All right, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.